Good morning and welcome to the Veterans Advice Hub. My name is Bill Kelly and what follows are a series of videos that outline the VA disability compensation application process. I've already talked about self-assessment and uh, if you've answered the question that you're impacted by something that happened to you while you were in service, you answered that question yes, then we're on to the next step. So the first form that I would file is a VA 210966. That is an intent to file a VA disability claim form. You can get these forms all online. You can fill them out online and print them. And uh, what I would do is, my personal preference is to use snail mail, do it the old fashioned way, print your forms, sign them, and mail them uh, to the VA. You can do it online. This is not a video on exactly how to do that, but the forms would be the same. So, intent to file. Why is that important? The VA disability uh, is retroactive to the date that you put that form in. So either you submit the, the claim form, which we're gonna talk about in another video, or you submit the intent to file a claim form. What that does, it saves the date, it gives you a year to gather your evidence and then submit the actual claim. So this is not the claim itself, this is just to start the process, save your effective date, and give you some time to pull your documentation and evidence together. So the form again is VA 210966, intent to file a claim for disability. And you can look that up online, va.gov, all the forms will be there. Things that you put on a form, it's gonna identify you. Name, address, phone number, social, uh, your military service, those types of things. It's pretty self-explanatory, it's one page. It gets the process started and give you a year to pull everything else together. I would start there. Again, hope you enjoy this series of videos. Thank you for your service and have a great year.